In this exercise, we'll move slides in and out from both sides of a tooling set. We'll use ghost blocks to help control the animation. As the slides retract, the arbor will move downward and then also retract. We'll use a ghost cylinder to control that movement also. The six active slider constraints and one fixed constraint used to drive this entire animation are shown here. Each slider constraint uses the intermittent option with the following values to stage the movement. The calculation duration is 5 seconds. So let's work with an actual file. We'll open up sample file kcvtooling2.ckd. We're going to turn off some of the levels here real quickly. There are many parts in this assembly. Turns out these are the only ones that are really used in the animation. Let's turn everything off here and then look at these parts. These are all static during the animation and so we can combine them together using the merge bodies so they act like one solid. Will we display all of the parts? Let's click on the animation tab. Now the animation constraints are already assigned in this file. This is a demonstration file. Let's click on animation calculation 5 for the duration. You'll see the slides move in and move back out. The arbor moves down and moves back up. Pretty simple. Let's click on the Levels tab. We're going to remove the three ghost bodies. There's two ghost blocks on the front there and a ghost cylinder. Now let's run an animation. We can run it from this menu just as well. Animation calculation, same duration, 5. And without the ghost blocks on the screen, you don't see the magic going on behind the scenes. It's literally that simple to run this type of compound animation. So let's recap. In this exercise, we move slides in and out from both sides of a tooling set. We use ghost blocks to help control the animation. As the slides retracted, the arbor moved downward and then also retracted. We use the ghost cylinder to control that movement also. The six active slider constraints and the one fixed constraint used to drive this entire animation are shown here. Each slider constraint used the intermittent option with the following values to stage the movement. Calculation duration was 5 seconds. Notice that some of the numbers add up to way more than 5 seconds. That's perfectly fine. It's an easy way to set up an animation.